Okay. Well, welcome back. Okay. Welcome to part four of our basic firearm safety series. In part four, we're going to go over the double action auto loading pistol. And the double action auto loading pistol differs from the single action auto loading pistol in the fact that the trigger performs two functions, two functions. It can cock and release the hammer. And the safety mechanism on the double action auto loading pistol is such that it actually uh, acts, it drops the hammer on a block of metal. It's actually called a hammer drop rather than a safety. I tend to call it a safety even though technically speaking it's not. And again, let's go over the, the basics, all right? We have here, our, right here, we have a Smith & Wesson model 915, nine millimeter, all right? And again, like all auto-loading pistols, you have your frame barrel in action, all right? When I pull the slide back, you have your barrel, guide rod for the spring. This big hunk of metal up top here that slides back and forth, it's called a slide. You have your front and rear sight so they can align the, the firearm to your target. Okay, now I'm just going to go from this viewpoint here okay you have your trigger guard and your trigger okay you have your slide release which releases the slide and you notice that the hammer is cocked back you have your magazine release here okay this magazine here again uh this holds 15 shots now this is empty and notice i can pull the trigger and it doesn't fire there's also another safety mechanism inside called a magazine disconnect once i put a magazine in and pull the trigger, it will release the hammer, okay? Now, here's your safety, but it's actually called a hammer block. And the way it works is that, if you can kind of, it's kind of hard to see, all right? When I push this down, there's a block of metal that flies up inside, that actually rotates to block the firing pin from it being struck by the hammer, okay? Now, this particular model here, all right, Again, it has a 15-shot capacity. Now, this has been grandfathered in in the state of Massachusetts laws. Other states are different. There's no problem with that. In this state, it is, all right? But this is an older model. Now, to operate this particular handgun, you would take your magazine, insert it into the well of the, of the frame, slam it, pull back on a slide, and if there's a fresh round, it will, it will strip that round from the magazine and load it. This and then when you push the, the hammer drop up, Okay, the firearm's ready to shoot. Now, the first shot in a double action auto loading pistol is gonna be long and heavy. Once it fires, it's gonna eject the case and then it's going to actually cock the hammer and then all the subsequent shots are gonna be short and light, okay? Now, let's fire a couple of uh, magazines through. All right, might as well show you how it operates. insert my magazine okay now this firearm is loaded and it's ready to shoot all I have to do is flip the safety up most safeties you flip down this one it flips up so I'm going to take some shots at my target down range and again the first shot's going to be long and heavy I could put the safety on, flip it back up, and then again, it's going to be long and heavy. Now all the shots are subsequently short. <laughs> okay. And so let's just take a quick look at the target. Well, <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty riddled with uh, holes. Of course, I was just kind of doing some rapid fire. I wasn't. I should probably put a little bit more effort into that. But again, that type of firearm is probably going to be the type that you're going to most likely come across when you're in any type of law enforcement or security work. And we can see here that 
you know, my shots did hit a man-sized target. Now this is at 25 yards. Normally you're going to be shooting at 21 to 25 feet. That's considered to be the standard for uh, security and law enforcement, all right? But I tend to put mine at a little bit of a longer range, all right? Just mostly I'm more of a target shooter than anything else. But again, I would want you to understand how this particular type of firearm operates, okay? And so those are the basic types. Now there is one other type, okay? And that is the single shot, which I think we'll cover in a special part five. I have a soft spot for the single shots, and I'll explain my reasoning.